Hello, everyone. This is Gavin Ascolar from the Chaga Company, and I am here with one of the owners of Far West Fungi, Ian Garoni. How are you, Ian? I'm doing well. How are you guys doing? Uh, doing quite well, too. Thank you very much for giving us the time to actually get ourselves a little interview and talk to you about, a mush about mushrooms. Um, oh. Can you tell us about uh, Far West Fungi and the mushrooms that you guys sell? Yeah, uh, Far West Fungi originated in San Francisco back in 1982 with my parents. Uh, there's uh, basically, so it's still a family run business. So there's uh, four brothers that are uh, in the business right now. Um, and uh, along with probably about, you know, a large, actually a large group of people that help us out through uh, retail uh, and our farming locations. So uh, we have two retail stores. Uh, we do a lot of farmers markets in the Bay Area and uh, uh, we farm around 13 different varieties of mushrooms. Oh, um, a lot of people, they don't know what the, the broad range of mushrooms that are out there. Could you give us a little bit of explanation of what kind of mushrooms that you have and what products you have too as well? Sure. Um, well, we, we predominantly, we focus on the mushrooms that we grow down at our farm, which are certified C2F organic, uh, all wood-based uh, mushrooms. So most people are familiar with like shiitakes and oyster mushrooms. Those are our biggest production mushrooms. Um, shiitake is actually the one mushroom that we grow probably the most of out of all of them. Um, and then, um, and I have some examples here. I was like, woo, we got a shiitake. Woo, I want to see. Yeah, keep on show and tell. Yes, that's awesome. <laughs> Shiitakes. These are medium shiitakes. Ooh. Um, Those are delicious, by the way, and they're super and healthy for you too. This is a this is an oyster variety yeah. that we're growing. This is a black pearl, so it's a little different than your regular. Variety. That is my favorite. It tastes like it's so meaty and savory, and then put some truffle salt on that thing. It's bomb, yo. Oh yeah, it's kind of like has this. Uh, oh, it's almost like a like a not a clam texture, but it has like this meatiness to it, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. A, a little a little chewy but not overtly chewy um then we grow like the king trumpet or the orangey mushrooms Ooh, that's cool a nice one yeah this is a medium for us but we can get them there they, they can get rather large and we also grow real small like a uh, one inch size uh uh king trumpets and then the one that's probably the most popular right now is the lion's mane Ooh, that's delicious Yum. yeah so this one has like a crab meat like texture to it um we also Grow a lot of the exotic pink and yellow um, varieties of oysters and maitake, which is a very popular medicinal mushroom. Okay, can you tell us a little bit more about maitake too as well? And then we're going to go for another segment later on about medicinal mushrooms. But Yeah, I mean, the nice thing, like right now, what I'm smelling from this is kind of this like really intense, almost like a, like a mineral tone. Um, when you cook it though, it has like a roasted chicken flavor to it. It's very crisp and crunchy. Um, fantastic mushroom on a culinary level. And that's mm. how we kind of, we try to grow mushrooms that have a culinary value to it. Okay. But also as a medicinal, it really helps boost the immune system as like, you know, what you have with uh, chaga, everything yes. kind of really kind of gets the immune system going and, yeah. uh, and, and uh, offers a lot of flavor. So um, that one's the one that I probably take home the most, the maitake mushroom, mm -hmm. because it just has, it, you can use it in just about any dish and it works out really well. And I know that I'm still getting all the, you know, uh, good properties yes. to it to help boost my immune system. That is so true. That's yeah. awesome. So you also have other dried products and whatnot. Can you tell us a little bit more about your other products and besides the one that you grow? You also process, right? We do, we do. We process for a lot of the other smaller um, farms uh, in the Bay Area. Uh, say if they run and we all run a little extra uh, uh, product during the course of the year, generally in the summertime when maybe the consumption of mushrooms is a little light because you don't, you know, you're not going for the heavier kind of, uh, you know, uh, savory, you're eating more salads, you know, in the summertime in the Bay Area. So there's usually an extra run. And so we end up bringing them in and then we dry them. Um, and then sell them through our uh, retail stores. And it's a way that we can also be a little bit more consistent in having product all the time. So we offer all of our varieties um, that we grow at our farm, uh, along with say, for instance, I have like cordyceps here, uh, which are a kind of a newer cultivated mushroom that we were cultivating for a while, but are a little, a little hard to cultivate. Uh -huh. um, so we, we were able to get a bunch in and dry them yeah. Um, so that's, that's a uh, one fun mushroom, but all the, the wilds that you would find locally, uh, in the Bay area throughout California, morel, chanterelles, uh, porcinis, all those guys, we bring in dry ourselves and then repackage. 
Oh, that's great. And you also make, uh, I think you guys also make like olive oil and other stuff too as well, or any unique products that you guys procure besides your jerkies? Well, we make our jerky, you know, yeah. so this is our shiitake jerky, uh, very popular. We actually just finished a, um, a new, our newest like king trumpet um, variety of jerky, which has great texture to it as well. So we're always trying to develop kind of a, a, another way of kind of using the excesses around our, our, our farm. Um, but as far as like um, other products, so uh, we have a huckleberry jam that's uh, in the making right now. So yeah. that should be out uh, by the end of the summer. And um, boy, I mean, we have we have all kinds of you know all kinds of wonderful things. Our truffle oil, we we bring in in barrels. So we actually are importing them in from Europe. And what we do that might be a little bit different than most is we will actually get a variety of, of oils in and we'll sample them every year because sometimes they change. We don't really stick with one company, but we're really looking for a specific type of oil that might not be overwhelming. We're trying to do something a little bit more of a, a natural oil, something that isn't too potent. So, um, so we're able to bottle those every year. Sometimes we don't have it because, you know, sometimes there's really, we don't find anything that is really of quality. Yeah. So it is something that's maybe a little bit more unique for, well, it, we share the same thing. If it's, if it's not of good quality, we're not going to bring it in, right? Exactly. So we just bypass it and hopefully uh, down the line we can find the product again and of high quality and then we bring it in. Yes. And the awesome part about Far West Fungi is every time they put procure is like the best quality of mushrooms out there and then they have a very, very awesome variety of different mushrooms. I learned so much from you. And moreover, I want to know, it's like if, people are not into mushrooms and now there's a fad that people are it's getting more fashionable and stuff like that and people yeah, want yeah. to get in how does one get into it besides just getting from just the regular browns and button mushrooms for them to, for them to just get themselves in the door and can you saute something or what's a good way to get in in it well there i mean usually if you come into our shop or if you visit us at the farmer's market um the best thing to know is kind of what you do like and what you don't like Mm -hmm. um, and then we will guide, generally guide people through, you know, kind of a series of mushrooms. And if we know that you like um, brown mushrooms, we know that you generally will like, you know, like a king trumpet. And we'll have you start trying little samples. And we usually will sample things out to people that are in the farm, you know, like they come to the farmer's market or come check us out. Yeah. And we, you start to just get, you know, work on your, your portfolio of what you like and textures and flavors. And then you can say, I like you know, three different, these three different mushrooms. I like shiitake, I like maitake, and I like, you know, porcini. And we will kind of, we can kind of guess on what your next, you know, set of mushrooms that you're going to like. So that's one way of doing it is just kind of like really talking to your purveyor. Um, you know, there are a lot of good, actually, mushroom purveyors in the Bay Area and within California that you can kind of, you know, um, hopefully talk to a little bit more about what's available out there. And, um, with so many different varieties, the only real way to know is kind of like to to really try them out and and realize that there you know there are so many different varieties that there's going to be one in there or two in there that you really like and some that are going to be have strong characteristics that you're going to also like as well. Awesome. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, another thing is like now that we are in quarantine and shelter in place currently um can we order online or besides the farmer's market what, what can we order fresh mushrooms online too as well you mm -hmm. know all of the, and what products can we order online and what can we pick up at the farmer's market given the fact that i feel like the ferry building and the santa cruz store is currently not open <laughs> yeah and we've, we've been testing a, a kind of like a, a smaller window pickup at each one of those locations and it is going fairly well um but obviously um going online is really the first step seeing what we have available and if we do have something that is in good abundance that is great quality we are offering it online really first so uh for example right now uh wild uh, ramps are in season which is a favorite by most and you know, it's still, it's a wild product. So it is something that we consider to be part of our, you know, our umbrella is the wild stuff, wild berries, wild greens. And, um, and really you can, we are offering it online. That's really exclusively online. So you go on to farwestfungi.com, uh, check what, what we have to offer. It might change every day, put your order in, and then you can do pickups at any of our locations or we deliver it directly to you, which is, I would say where most people are going is they want it directly at their doorstep, 
and they don't really want to deal with the lines. And, um, you know, we've worked it out. Our, our cost and our shipping costs and all that stuff is, is really reasonable. And so that seems to be where most people are going for us. But really calling us or contacting us is really, you know, is really easy and it's, it's a good way to go to get started. So thank you so much yet again. What is, um, let's, uh, where are your outlets again, Ian? So, so, so currently right now, uh, we do 18 farmers markets on the peninsula. So um, uh, starting from San Francisco, there's three available. Um, you know, the run through would be, uh, you know, we have the Ferry Plaza on Saturday, sun, uh, Sundays and Wednesdays at Civic Center Farmers Market, ceremonies on uh, Thursday. Um, everything can be found online, but we're basically as far down as say like San Jose, Mountain, you know, we're doing Mountain View, College of San Mateo, CSM. Um, those are big ones. Palo Alto is a big market for us. And uh, uh, everything is farwestfunday.com. You can look at, you know, find us and you can locate us on our map and uh, hopefully come join us at one of the farmer's markets. Um, we have pickup locations at the uh, warehouse in South San Francisco and a pickup location in Santa Cruz. And if once we get done with our construction, which we're doing at the Ferry Building, we'll also have that as a pickup place. Awesome. And order online at www.farwestfungi.com. And they deliver fresh mushrooms all over up and down California. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, come check us out. 